spring and summer handbag collection. Now here in Australia, we've just finished spring and summer and up in the Northern Hemisphere, you guys are about to enter spring and summer. So I can tell you which bags I actually used for you to consider in your collection. Now I have a special guest with me here today and her name is Kara. And I've introduced her in a previous video before and we're dog sitting her today. And she's hanging out with my dog, Lucy. And you'd be surprised at the color scheme I actually chose for this spring, summer and here in Australia. Now I did rotate my bags pretty well. So these bags I'm gonna be shown in no particular order. The bag number eight, this is my vintage Louis Vuitton Mabillon backpack. And I unboxed her as a Christmas gift from me to me in 2023. Now this bag is black and you might be thinking, Black and spring and summer, that doesn't really go together, but she's in my rotation for functional reasons. So she's my only designer backpack and I have really bad shoulder pain. So I've got really tight traps and sometimes I just need a bag that can evenly distribute the weights on my shoulder. And that's something that a crossbody can't do for me. So in spring, summer, I love to carry cans of drinks cause it can get really hot here in Australia. And this, I can fit two cans of drinks in, in addition to my usual essentials. So even though she's black and not a spring summer color, she was very functional this spring summer and a welcomed addition to my handbag collection. And being epi leather, she was super durable. And then when I go to the park, I can just throw her on the ground and not stress too much about it. But I do want to point out one major con I've noticed while using this bag is that the straps along the top is actually connected to the front of the bag not the back of the bag like a backpack normally would, which means that when you're wearing the bag and you're trying to unzip it, you do not have a clear path to unzip the bag because the strap is in the way. So that does mean you kind of have to take it off, lift up the straps to zip and unzip the bag. So that's not the most quick, not the most easiest, probably not the most mummy friendly bag. Vintage Louis Vuitton Bordeaux GM. This is bag number seven. And this is such a beautiful monogram bag with the treated leather, not vachetta. So it's just all weatherproof. So if we get any sudden rain, sometimes you get a sun shower, you get any sprinkling of rain, no stress at all. This is completely water resistant and I'm loving this gold hardware of Louis Vuitton in a circle. So this is very much like what's just come out with the Salmer BB, except the new release, it's not even hardware. It's like a foil imprinting, foil hot stamping. This is actual hardware, so loving that. This one is so versatile. Now monogram, you can wear any season or year round. It's not season specific. The color scheme is very neutral. I can wear it with my yellow dress. I can wear it with my denim dress. I can wear it with my white dress. This goes with pretty much any outfit. And I'm also loving that it's a leather interior. So if I spill anything, it's not a huge deal. I can just wipe it on the inside. And the great thing is this bag has detachable straps. So you just undo the snap take off the straps and then it becomes a clutch. Super versatile as well. If you're someone who has more formal events to go to and you get a back pocket, really nice and wide, absolutely fine to wear your phone. Now this is the GM size. They also make a PM size if you like a bit smaller. Now mine does have a little bit of bubbling you can see on the side here, but that doesn't really bother me too much. The vintage Louis Vuitton pochette accessoires in the epi leather. This is bag six and bag five, and I'm gonna do them together because it's the same bag. Now these are different sizes. The yellow is in the 21 centimeter and the brown or Kenyan fawn is in the 24 centimeter. And these are absolute great grab and go bags. I do a lot of dog walking. Sometimes when I don't wanna carry a drink and I'm just carrying my wallet and my phone, these are my go-to bags. So again, back to my sore shoulder and tight traps. Sometimes I just need a super lightweight bag just to hold my phone, my wallet. And these are absolute delight in my collection. Yellow is such a fun summer color, goes well with Australian summer. And dun dun, we have a purple interior. Don't mind my money. If anyone's curious, this is what Australian money looks like. $5, $10, $20. Purple Alcantara interior. So that's a fun pop of color. Inside the pochette accessoires one, it's just 
brown as well. Now Louis Vuitton have just re-released the Epi pochette accessoires again at the end of 2003 in black and silver and they are so expensive. Expensive. I did a whole comparison here between the vintage ones and the new release ones and you can save so much money by going on to the pre-love market and you can get so many more colors on the pre-love market with gold hardware. Currently the LV new one is silver hardware. I'm more of a gold hardware girl and I love variety so the vintage ones are definitely the pick for me. So for anyone who loves just a small quick grab and go, maybe you go on a lot of dog walks like me, this is just a great welcomed addition to my collection and for a bigger bag you can just pop these in as an SLG as well. And if you want to know more about any of these bags, I've actually talked about the price I paid for every single Louis Vuitton bag with mod shots and what fits and I'll leave my Louis Vuitton collection video here and if you actually want to see my entire entire collection of 50 bags that's luxury and non-luxury I'll leave that video here as well. Now my yellow pochette accessoire is from 2000 and my Kenyan fawn one is 1998 and look how great they still look for being such old bags. Vintage is definitely the way to go for me. This Saint Cloud GM. I've got another set of duplicates, bag four and bag three. Yes, they are the same bag, one in monogram, one in epi leather. And yes, this is the Kenyan fawn brown color again, the same color as my pochette accessoires. And that's because it's one of my favorite epi colors. This is one of my favorite styles from Louis Vuitton in the vintage range. I love the Saint Cloud. It's so easy to use, just a snap button. Even if you don't snap it, still the flap closes fine. If you're in a rush, not to worry. You get a back pocket that does fit your phone. This is the GM size. I've got leather interior on both the monogram and the epi leather. It's just one main compartment with one zippered compartment. So super easy to use. And because it's structured, you don't need an organizer in there. Your things are just easy to find. It's not like one of those black hole kind of bags. And yes, even though the monogram has vachetta, it's vintage. So if I get a water spot, it's not like a huge deal. The leather is already heavily patinaed. And the epi one, just all weather, water resistant, no fear of anything. And I can fit a drink in there. I love carrying a drink in spring, summer in Australia because we can get really hot and I can carry a can of drink in there plus all my essentials as well. The strap isn't too thin so it doesn't dig too much in my shoulder and the monogram one comes with an extra shoulder pad for comfort. You get seven adjustment settings. Now the strap isn't detachable so I know some people don't like that but I don't mind, the strap fits me and just loving the casual shape. I just live a normal life. I don't live a luxury lifestyle. I know that a lot of luxury handbag collectors out there are also living the luxury lifestyle. I'm just living a regular schmegular lifestyle, but a lot of the time, just a casual bag is what I need for my outfit. She's from 1992 and she's from 1994. And they are holding up so well. This one's a bit worn out, but I use her like a worn out bag. This one's a bit better condition, so I treat her a little bit better. The little sister, the Louis Vuitton St. Cloud PM, bag number two. The little sister of the GM bags. Now this is two sizes down. There's also an MM, so I've got the GMs and now I've got the PM. This one is so cute. Now this one I unboxed in 2023 as an impulse purchase. Now I don't recommend anyone do impulse purchases, but luckily for me, this one worked out to be a treat. And look at her, she's so cute. Perfect for dog walking. Look, I even have my little doggy do bag here. So just like her big sister, she has a back pocket, but this one is too small for phones. Like unless you want to have your phone standing up and sticking out, too small for phones. So the phone for me has to go inside the bag. So you do always want to measure if a bag can fit your phone because there's all these different size phones out there. And this one, just like the GM, has a leather interior, has one pocket. Mine's a slip pocket. Now mine is so old. So old she's pre-date code. So this is like the early 80s or maybe even older. This bag is older than me. So she's holding up well for a bag that's older than me. It does have the Vachetta, but it's vintage. So if I get a water spot, you know, it's not the end of the world. And for anyone who's confused, if you're interested in the bag, but you're thinking, oh my gosh, PM or GM, which size is better for me? I've done a whole comparison video showing you mod shots, what fits, talking about strap lengths. So if you want to know more about the GM size versus the PM size and which one is potentially better for you, I'll leave that comparison here for you to watch. Vintage Louis Vuitton. 
Dragon Cellier Clutch in the Epi Leather. This has been a bag that I've coveted since about 2018, 2019, and I finally got her for myself for Christmas 2023. You heard right, this was Christmas 2023. And this was Christmas 2023. So I kind of spoiled myself on Christmas 2023. As I said, this is a clutch. The way I've been able to attach a strap is by using a conversion kit. So this is just looks like that. And I just slot that in. And then now I can close the flap and use it with a strap. Now bear in mind, whenever you use conversion kits, it's not a completely flawless system. So you still have to be mindful when using the bag so that the conversion kit doesn't slip out, the bag doesn't fall off. But at least now I have the option of adding a strap. Now this is not the same color as Kenyan Fawn. So this is Kenyan Fawn. This is called Kapengo Gold. So this has more yellow undertones. This has more red undertones. This has yellow contrast stitching. This has matching brown stitching. So these are slightly different shades of colors, but they're both vintage colors that you can't get anymore. This is actually a men's clutch. It's not even from the females range, but it is so beautiful. And you know me, I love the vintage Louis Vuitton S lock. And I actually got the key with this one. This is a functional lock that you can actually lock with a key. So I've actually got the key seeing in the Monceau. So you actually get two keys with this leather tab and it just looks like that. So if I turn the key, so now you can unlock it. If I turn the key, now it doesn't unlock. Turn the key back, it unlocks again. And what I learned is that this key, this one set of keys, will work on any bag with a lockable S-lock. So this key works on all of these three bags up here. It's the same key for all the lockable S-locks on the vintage bags. No back pocket on this one. And this one is also leather interior. I'm loving that the vintage bags have leather interior. Now you get a zippered pocket. Now this one has a sticky tarry zippered pocket, which I have not yet been bothered to clean out. However, I will be cleaning it out. And the method that I use, I'll show you here. That's my tutorial where I show you all the products that I use. I like to use that particular product shown in that tutorial instead of the acetone that a lot of other people use. Because I find that product smells better and the acetone sort of gives me a headache. And it also comes with the wrist strap as well. So it turns out that in my spring summer collection, I mostly have monogram and neutral colors, but I guess that can work in any season, but they're the bags that I actually gravitated to for real this spring summer. My only real pop of color was this yellow pochette accessoires. So tell me in the comment section down below, out of that spring summer collection I just showed you, which one was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? And in your collection, tell me about your collection. What is your spring summer favorite bag to use. I'd love to hear about your collection in the comment section down below. Now, actually out of these eight bags, these four, the Mabillon Backpack, the Dragon Cellier, St. Cloud PM and St. Cloud GM, these were all acquired in 2023. So I kind of had a bit of a big year in 2023 where I kind of shopped a bit too much with Louis Vuittons and they're not even all the bags I bought. So I'm trying to slow down this year in 2024. So I do show you every single bag that I bought in 2023 and I'll link that video here for you to carry on with next. And I also talk about how I failed my low buy year and how I've reflected on that. And I'll leave that video here for you to carry on with next.